Wake up, Grace Point. How are you guys today? It is your boy, Pastor Jeremiah. It's 2021, our second Wake Up Grace Point of the year. So grateful that you guys are with me, joining me. Appreciate that. So uh, basically, Wake Up Grace Point. I just encourage you, give you some scripture, spiritual thoughts, and say a prayer over you. So thank you for joining me each and every day, Monday through Friday. Wake Up Grace Point. So thank you so much. Two things to cover before I get into the spiritual uh, encouragement story I'm going to give you today. Number one, uh, you know, I've been little by little building my Missouri Mizzou Tiger gear. Okay, I'm fading. My Nebraska-ism is fading. My Missouri in me is growing. So rocking the Missouri Tigers hat today. Got a super good deal on it for five bucks at um, TJ Maxx. So uh, now I got two Missouri Tiger hats. So I'm like hardcore fan now. Secondly, God is clearly doing something new on the earth. Uh, in the life of his people. Super excited about this right now. I'm going to show you. Look at this. Check this out. A new Mountain Dew flavor has come. Major Melon. Mountain Dew Major Melon is here, ladies and gentlemen. So let's let's take a sip of that on Wake Up Brace Point and see what that does for the, the show today. Ooh, it, it's supposed to be like watermelon, and this is not really show. So, wake up, Grace Point. Thanks for joining me. Hope that you follow us on Facebook, Grace Point Assembly of God Church. A like, check out the stuff that we post there on a regular basis. Grace Point Daily, the YouTube channel. Subscribe and check out the content that we put on there. It has our podcast, Grace Point Daily. Modern Christian Dads, which is about to have some major, major changes. And don't forget gracepointag.org. That is our church website. You can uh, give online. You can participate. You can give to missionaries and see what's happening in the life of our church. So thank you very much for that. And don't forget, come join us live. We're going to be Wednesday night. We're starting a new thing as well, too. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. But anyway, okay, I, f I feel bad today because I don't necessarily have a... Uh, scripture <laughs> verse for this, but I'll, I'll try and tell it's, it's too good of a story to pass up. So uh, I guess all, uh, all my funky weird stories, or at least some of them come from the YMCA. So here's a great funky YMCA story. This one actually didn't come from the sauna. So here we go. Check this one out. So uh, there is our bus ministry is, has been very productive the last half year in 2020. And we've had a lot of kids and, and some of those kids come, come from very interesting environments. And so anyway, there was a kid uh, from our bus ministry at the YMCA. And he was by himself. And it was one of those things, I think parents dropped him off and just left him. And you could tell he really wanted someone to hang out with because we're playing ping pong together. And then he followed me to the pool and I was kind of there to hang out with the boys and, <laughs> you know, but um, he's really just clingy to us, you know, so clearly he was looking for someone to hang out with and talk to. And, and I was trying to put in some laps and watch the boys and, and he just kept talking to me and coming over and, and, and I wasn't annoyed by it, you know, it was just like, okay, I'm trying to spend time with the boys right now. It's the last day for school. You know, any, anyway, it's not a big deal, but at the end of our time there, as we were wrapping up the boys lessons and stuff, we're getting ready to go. He's sitting there and he, and he's 11 years old. He has a phone and he's, he, he's texting away, you know, like regular kids nowadays, just, just going after it. And you know, without me asking, he just, he looks over at me. He's like, Oh, my girlfriend's cheating on me. <laughs> and so keep in mind, this is 11 year old kid, right? My girlfriend is cheating on me. I was like, and so instead of being like the adult that was like, that's so dumb and cheesy. You're, you're 11 years old and you're talking about your girlfriend is cheat. So I didn't want to go that route because clearly he was like, sad about it. You know, he's texting and, and so he's upset. And I was like, man, I'm so sorry about that. You know? <laughs> and, and I was trying to be serious, you know, and I, because everything inside of me as the 40 year old man wanted to be like, bro, come on, come on, dude, you're 11 years old. But I'm like, I'm so sorry. Wow. Um, you know what happened? <laughs> and anyway, he's, he's still kind of texting away, but talking to me and, uh, you know, he's kind of, he was just, I can't remember what he said after that, but then I was kind of like, well, you know, I said, that's why I, I always encourage people to just focus on Jesus until you graduate from school. And, you know, then you can worry about girls later. Um, and anyway, it's like, so here's the, the even funnier brother story. So the 11 years old, like my girlfriend's cheating on me and he's like, yeah, she's, she's not at my school. And I was like, oh, really? Uh, where's she, where's she from? Uh, she's from England. <laughs> I was like, okay, so you're 11 years old. Your girlfriend's cheating on you. She's from England. Yeah, I met her online. I was like, this, okay, you met her online? Okay, so I was like, 
so I know the lingo a little bit, you know? So I was like, Oh, did you meet her on Snapchat? And he's like, yeah, the snap. <laughs> I met her on the snap. So I, I learned that terminology now that I can be like, yo, you, you Dr. RB Maynard, I'll catch you on the snap a little bit later today, you know? So here we go. We got 11 year old boy, uh, his girlfriend from England that he met online on the snap is, is cheating on him. And he's very distraught and brokenhearted about that. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I didn't necessarily know where to go, you know, and I was just trying to be comforting. I'm like, man, that's so, I'm so sorry about that. And yeah, I'm texting her friend right now about it and just explaining it to her. And isn't that funny? Come on, all you adults that are listening right now, wake up Grace Point. An 11 year old boy that has a girlfriend that he met online via the snap from England who's cheating on him and he's, bro, she lives in England. You're in America. Like, <laughs> come on, man. So um, anyway, it was just, it, it was just kind of funny and I, I didn't really know what to do and I kind of, you know, felt bad and, and, and then I had to go and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, anyway, it was just, just so interesting, this conversation that I had with this kid. And here's the spiritual point I want to get to today outside of that being, cause that, that kid like is, you know, had feelings and is, you know, sad and distraught and everything. So I felt bad for him. So I guess here's the more moral of the story today, spiritual encouragement I want to give to you is number one, uh, don't get distracted. Oop, my camera is messing up. Um, I want to encourage you guys. Oh, almost all of a sudden. Oh, it had to do it, didn't it? My camera had to get. That's why this is a live show, everyone. My camera just got extremely funky. Uh, see, I'm coming into the spiritual point, and now it's going to get funky on me. Okay, let me bounce over to my other camera here. All right, this one's not quite as good. But uh, anyway, here's the point today is that number one, the, the enemy just wants to distract us. You know, I think about this kid who's so distracted. He should be focused on being a kid and, you know, um, not women, <laughs> girls in a relationship. He shouldn't be focused on that stuff right now. He should be focused on being a young man of God and, and chasing him and, and who he is, not, not a girl, right? And Second, so number one, the, the enemy, no matter what age we are, where we're at, what place we are in life, he wants to distract us with a multitude of different things. And for that young man, it's it's girls, right? And so then along with that, number two is I want to encourage you today to chase the relationship that really, really matters. You know, we this poor kid, you know, and I'm sure he doesn't, doesn't seem like he has probably parents that are super engaged in his life is kind of like he, he's, he's chasing stuff that doesn't matter. So like you want to say young man, come on. And, but for all, again, for all of us, we all get distracted and all of us chase sometimes the, the relationships are least important in our life. And so I'm, you know, now from that story and we should pray for him, pray for our young people and our young kids back over this camera. It's still kind of weird. So we'll go back over here. All right. Uh, but anyway, Let's pray for our young people, number one. But number one, I'm talking to you. What are the things that distract you and get you in the way? Is it relationships with other people? Is it things? What's the thing that's going to try and step into your life this year to get you distracted and focused on the, the, the things that don't matter or relationships that don't matter? And number two, to chase the relationship that does matter. You know, the relation, yes, your, your wife, your kids, those relationships are so, so important. But the most important relationship that you have that you should chase and be investing in on a regular basis is your relationship with Christ. And I challenge you to do that. And there's a multitude of ways that you can do that. But just think about that today. So wake up, Grace Point. I'm going to hop off be before any other glitches happen. But hey, guys, God bless you today. Thank you for joining me on Wake Up Grace Point. See, the enemy's trying to distract me, but it's not going to happen, okay? Uh, God bless you guys. Let me say a prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for all my friends today that are listening. And I bless them, Lord God, uh, that just like the Bible says, set every hindrance and distraction aside that we will do that, that they will do that. 
And I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you're not a God who wants to, uh, of distraction. And so I rebuke those distractions. Help us to recognize them, to understand them, to remove them from our lives in Jesus' name. Uh, and secondly, help us to chase you, Jesus. You're the relationship that matters. You're the most important relationship that we have. And our relationship with you affects all the other ones anyway. So help us to chase you. Lord, we love you and we thank you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Wake up, Grace Point. Talk to you guys next time.